this video, we're going to focus on symmetrical features in SolidWorks. We're going to create a couple designs and focus their features around the origin and some of the uh, reference planes. Um, as we create the parts, notice purposefully where we're starting to put some of our sketches and how we're orienting things so that we can really make use of the origin throughout this process and not adding in a whole bunch of planes to sort of uh, create geometry as we go, we'll use what is existing. So to get started, we'll create a new sketch and we'll do that on the front plane. We're gonna drop down our line tool and click center line. We wanna make sure that that's attached to the origin here and make sure that it is horizontal. This should automatically be construction. So when you click it, it says for construction. And we know that it's a center line. We're going to draw our rough shape. And I'll make sure it's lined up with that origin. And I'll try to let SolidWorks take care of a good amount of the work for me. I'll be careful not to overdo it. So now I should have a whole bunch of relations already existing, perpendiculars, horizontals, and verticals. And I'm also vertical with this origin point here. We're gonna dimension this out and I'll pick a few different dimensions. But to get started, let's just dimension the distance from this to the bottom. We'll click our smart dimension and to make sure that we view this as a center line and we want the total distance We'll click the center line, then we'll click this. And then as we move down past, we'll get that total distance. So that should give you the ability to input full dimensions when we turn this into a 3D rotated part. I'm gonna make that three quarters and we'll continue in the same manner, drawing in all the dimensions. Once you've fully defined your sketch, now we're ready to rotate this. I'll exit my sketch. And this is a good time to get into your isometric view so you can see the full feature as you're creating it. So let's select feature and we'll select revolved boss base. You can see it's already picked the features that we want. It knows the axis of revolution, and it knows the profile that we're selecting. We wanna go a full 360 degrees and we'll hit the check mark and we should be ready to go. We've created almost half of our pulley at this point. Now if we look at these planes, we can see our part is gonna be completely centered on all of these planes, which is what we're looking for. We're going to create another feature and we're gonna take this base and we're gonna mirror it over that uh, right plane here. So make sure you're in the feature tab, the feature ribbon and select mirror. It asks for a mirror face or plane and we can select that inside face or depending on how you design your part, you can also select that right plane. The features to mirror, you can select the revolve from your menu and we're not gonna select any specific faces. 
we want to just do the entire feature. Hit the check mark, and that should complete the base for the pulley. Very quickly, we have a fully symmetrical part, and it's all related to that one sketch in the beginning. Now, we do have the right plane in the middle of our part, which is ideal. So now we can select that to make more symmetrical features within. We're going to draw a sketch on that plane. So make sure that right plane is selected. And again, you can always right click your sketch and click normal too. I'm going to leave the geometry of the part up. If it's more comfortable, now is a good time to uh, go to wireframe mode. I'm going to use the circle to help create that geometry. And I will center my circle. And the diameter of this circle is going to be 2.5. I also want this circle to just be construction. That's what I'm going to use for my reference. The next thing I want to do is draw a line that's also for construction from this origin out to the edge of the circle here, and I'm going to purposely bypass it. Now I have a reference line to angle all of my holes. I'll draw another circle, and I'll make sure that it's placed somewhere on this reference circle. The diameter will be 0.5. It's looking for placement. So when I smart dimension, I'll use my reference line to that point. And I want an angular dimension. So in order to do that, I'll add one more construction line from the center of the circle to that origin. And we should be able to dimension the two angles now. And let's set it at 30 degrees. And that moves our circle right around this circle here. We'll exit our sketch. And we can see that our circle sits right in between our part. I'll bring it back to shaded with edges. And I'll make sure to extrude cut through the mid plane. So I'll select my sketch from here and I'll extrude cut. We could do through all both and that'll cut through the whole part as well. I'll hit check and there's my hole at exactly 30 degrees off of zero. If I'd like to change the angle of that, we can always go to annotations, show feature dimensions, double click your angle here, change your to 90, and rebuild, and it should move your hole right there on center. You can double check to make sure that your sketch is still defined, and you should be good. I'll turn off show feature dimensions and now we're going to pattern these holes around our part in our feature ribbon we're going to find the down arrow on linear pattern and select circular pattern as far as the the features we'll go back to our design tree and then you want to find the feature that you want so the cut extrude is going to be the thing that we're going to revolve we do want this to be 360 degrees, and we want five total holes. It's asking for a direction, and in the direction we need to specify an axis, and we actually want the one that's going through the part right here. So if I turn it a little bit, it would be the axle of this. So to select that, the easiest way is go to your show hide menu and view temporary axis. When we go to select our axis, we can find that right in there. And we can see our holes pattern out really nicely. We'll hit check and created the basis for this part. Don't forget to save and you can turn off your axis.